Okay, we're going to use trigonometric identities to find the exact value. Uh, but something that uh, is very useful to know is that this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. And the actual identities, so in quadrant one, everything is positive, all the identities. In quadrant two, sine is positive. In quadrant three, tan is positive. And in quadrant four, cosine is positive. So to remember this, we can take the first letter, and remember we start quadrant four, and we can say uh, cast. So this is going to help us. Okay, and this is going counterclockwise. So cast. Cos, all, sine, and tangent. Right, let's have a look at example one. So example one. So we need to find the exact value. So find the exact value of the cosine of theta if the sine of theta is equal to quarter and theta is between 90 and 180 degrees. So we're going to use the Pythagorean identity. So we're going to use cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So this is the uh, Pythagorean identity. And then we're going to look at substituting in the value. So the value in the question we have a uh, sine is a quarter. So we're going to substitute the sine of theta. We're going to do a quarter uh, equal a quarter. So we're going to say cosine squared theta plus a quarter, but we have to remember squared uh, is equal to one. So if I work this out, this is going to be a uh, cosine squared theta, and uh, this is uh, one over sixteen. So now I'm going to uh, minus six, I have one over sixteen from both sides which will leave me with cosine 1 minus 1 over 16. And this is going to be, leave me with uh, 15 over 16. The 16 over 16 minus 1 over 16 is 15 over 16. And now I need to take the, uh, take the square root for both sides. So if I do that, I'll have... Uh, Cosine theta is the square root of 15 over 16. And this is going to be plus or minus. And this is going to be simplified to 15 over 4. Now, if we look at cast, we are looking at between 90 and 180. So 90 and 180 is quadrant two. So in quadrant two, cosine is negative. So cosine of theta is going to be minus 15 over four. Okay, so have a look at another example. Um, find the exact value of cosecant theta if cotangent of theta is equal to minus 3 over 5 and theta is between 270 and 360. So we're going to use this time the Cot squared theta plus 1 is equal to the cosecant. So this is another Pythagorean identity. 
and we're going to substitute in the value that we know. So the value we've been given, let's change. So we have uh, cot. So we're going to substitute for cot theta with uh, minus three fifths. So this is minus three fifths, and we remember it's squared, and that is equal to cosecant. So if we square, this is going to be uh, 9 over 25 plus 1. And 1 is going to be 25 over 25. So this is going to be uh, 34 over 25. And now I need to uh, take the square root to both sides. And if I do that, so I'll have uh, cosecant theta, let's get rid of that, cosecant theta is equal to uh, the square root um, of 34 over 25, and that's going to be plus or minus. Um, actually, that's no square there. And then uh, I'm just writing it the other way. S, so the cosecant theta, and this will simplify uh, to 34 over 5. Now we've got to look at the quadrants. So, cast. And 270 and 360, we're looking at quadrant 4. And in quadrant 4, only cosine is positive. So in quadrant four, cosecant theta is negative. So the answer is minus 34 over five. Okay, so guided practice, 1A, find sine of theta. If cosine theta is a third, and the angle theta is between 270 and 360, so we're going to use the Pythagorean formula. So sine theta plus uh, cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So that's the Pythagorean identity. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is substitute in. Substitute. So we've got uh, for cosine theta, we're going to substitute in a third. So sine squared theta plus a third, and we have to remember to square it. So this is going to be uh, sine squared theta plus uh, 1 over 9 is 1. And I'm going to minus 1 ninth from both sides. So I'll have a sine squared theta is uh, 1 minus a ninth which will be 8 over 9. And if I take the square root, so take the square root of both sides, I will have uh, sine theta is plus or minus 8 over 9, which will simplify to uh, 2 root 2 over 3. So now we're going to look at our quadrant. So we're looking at 270 to 360. So that is going to be in quadrant 4. So, oops. So in quadrant 4, Sine theta is negative, so sine theta will be minus 2 root 2 over 3. Right, so if we check our values, so we're going to use a calculator. So um, cosine to the minus 1 of a third, so if we put that into calculator that will be um, 70.53 degrees 
So because we're looking at the angle between 270 and 360, we'll do 360 minus 70.53. So 360 minus, and we'll have uh, 289.47. So we're going to replace now, so we're going to use a uh, sine. So sine of 289.47. So sine of 289, 289.47 is minus 0 0.9428. And if I do uh, check my answer here, so I have a uh, sine of uh, minus 2 root so minus 2 root 2 divided by 3 and that will give us minus 0 0.9428 so we know it's correct right guided practice uh, 1b Find the secant of theta if the sine of theta is minus 2 over 7 and it's between 180 and 270 degrees. So we're going to use our Pythagorean the uh, identity which is equal to 1. So Pythagorean identity and then we're going to substitute in the value so this time sine so we're going to substitute sine theta is minus 2 over 7 so cosine we're missing the theta there let's write that back in so theta plus and it's minus 2 over 7 squared equals 1 so cosine squared theta is 4 over 49. Oops, that's a plus. And then we're going to minus 4 over 49 from both sides. So cosine squared theta is 1 minus uh, 4 over 49. 49 minus 4 is 45. So we'll have uh, cosine. I have 40, 45 over 49. So if we take the square root, so square root to both sides, and we will have a cosine theta plus or minus 45 uh, over 49. And this will simplify to um three actually that will simplify it to three root five over seven. Now the question doesn't ask for cosine, it asks for a uh, secant, which is the uh the inverse or reciprocal rather. So um what we're gonna do we're gonna use um so secant theta, so we need to um, flip. Okay, so you have plus or minus, and then we have 7 over 3 root 5. We cannot have um, a radical on the denominator, so we need to rationalize. So we're going to multiply uh, both by 3 root 5. And then this will, this will leave us with, change color. So secant of theta is plus or minus uh, 21 root 5 over 45. So now we're going to look at our cast. And the angle in the question said between 180 and 270. So we're looking at between 180 and 270. So we're looking in quadrant 3.
So in quadrant three, only tangent is positive. So uh, in quadrant three, secant theta is negative. So our answer is uh, minus 21 over 5. 45, but this will actually uh, simplify further to minus 7 root 5 over 15, which is our final answer.